Hi, I'm Tom Lonsborough, I'm the Certified Open and Tutor here at Manchester Midi School. I um, just want to talk you through some of the sidechain options that um, Ableton Live gives you, uh, some of the plugins native to the, the program. So here I've got a very simple house beat. I've just programmed in a very, very simple one note bass line. Um, now it's the classic problem, um, sometimes because the kick drum and your bass synthesizer or bass guitar contain the same frequencies, um, they can clash and sound a bit muddy. Uh, and where EQing doesn't solve the problem, uh, you've got another option available, uh, available to you which is sidechain compression. So I'm just going to grab Live's compressor and drop it onto our bass track. So ordinarily, um, the compressor would listen to the incoming signal. Um, if it passes a threshold, then it, the signal will be compressed according to the settings that you've made on the compressor. But side, uh, side chain compression, uh, compression rather than li uh, listening to um, the input signal from the track, we take the input signal from a different track. In this case, I want to use the kick drum to compress uh, that single bass note that you can hear. So uh, on Live's compressor, I'm just going to click this little arrow here to expand the, the side chaining options that we have. I'm going to engage the side chain, and from the chooser boxes, I'm going to take my input from audio one, which has my drum loop on. Then I'm going to turn on the EQ section. Start the drum loop rolling, and you can see that currently Rather than listening to the uh, bass input, the compressor is actually listening to what's going on on audio track one. We can take this one step further. Uh, we can actually EQ the sample so it's just listening to the kick drum. Filter out everything else. And then you can see the compressor is now just listening to the kick in the drum loop. Fire off the bass sample, I'm going to start to set compression settings, and you'll start to hear the signal dip every time the kick drum hits. Turn the compressor off, we can hear the difference there. We're getting that movement up and down of the signal. So that's sidechain compression, and that's the classic use of sidechaining. But in live, uh, you also have the sidechain option on a couple of different plugins. Um, for example, I'm going to load an auto filter onto my next track along, which just does a very simple had drone on it. Again, I'm going to click the little arrow to expand the sidechain properties of the plugin, engage the sidechain option, and choose to receive my sidechain input from uh, the audio track that's got the, the kick loop on it, the drum loop. Again, with sidechain active, just going to set some envelope settings. And you can hear now that that's given that very simple pad pattern a bit of motion, makes it a little bit more interesting. Okay, let's just listen to what the fourth track's got now. It's a very simple audio sequence. What we're going to do in this case is, is load a gate onto the fourth audio track that's got this very simple sequence on. Again, I'm going to engage the sidechain properties. Every time the kick drum hits now, you can hear the gate opening and allowing that sequence through. So 
without the gate on. And then with the gate with the side chain taking its key from the drum loop on track one. All together. Side chaining in Ableton Live, not just reserved for side chain compression, compression, but you can also utilize the side chain properties of other native effects that come with the software. <laughs> 